Hey kids, have you ever put together a puzzle without looking at the box? Imagine if someone put all the pieces on the table and never showed you the box. Let's say it's a 500 piece puzzle. Do you think that you could put that puzzle together? If you are super good at puzzles, maybe you could, but probably not well, and it would probably take a super long time. Honestly, I don't think I could do it. I usually need to see the whole picture ahead of time and look at the whole picture while putting the puzzle together. In today's Bible story, Abraham trusted God with the pieces of his life and his son's life, even though he couldn't see the full picture. Let me tell you about it from Genesis chapter 22. Abraham and Sarah had a son, Isaac, in their old age. Isaac grew into a boy whom his parents loved so much. One day, God wanted to test Abraham. God spoke to Abraham and asked him to do something unthinkable. God said to Abraham, Give your son to me as a burnt offering. Sacrifice him on the mountain I will show you. Abraham must have been confused and heartbroken. God promised to make Abraham's descendants a great nation. They had waited so long for God to give them the son he had promised, and now God wanted him to kill the son he loved so much. But Abraham was faithful to God. So early the next morning, he got up and took Isaac to the place God had shown him. Together, they carried the wood, knife, and fire, and the two of them walked. The whole while, Isaac didn't know he was the sacrifice. Isaac noticed something was missing. They had the wood, they had the knife, they had the fire, but where was the lamb for the sacrifice? So he asked his father, where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God will provide himself a lamb. Abraham didn't understand why God asked him to sacrifice his beloved son, but he trusted that God would make everything work out. So he tied Isaac up, put him on the altar, and raised his knife high in the air. That's when he heard it. A voice, an angel shouted, don't hurt him. Now I know that you would do anything for God. You have not held back your only son. It was a test and Abraham passed it. But the sacrifice still had to take place. That's when they saw a ram caught in some bushes. God had provided a sacrifice. Abraham decided to name that place Yahweh Yira, which means the Lord will provide. Wow, what an amazing story. It's important for us to know that in the Old Testament, God required people to make animal sacrifices. What's an animal sacrifice? Well, to sacrifice something means to give something up. But in this case, it meant the animal had to be killed. God required this as an atonement for people's sins. Atonement is a big word that just means to cover. So you see, this animal sacrifice was done to cover people's sins. But they couldn't use just any animal. They had to use a perfect one with no spots or blemishes, no shady past, and a good credit score. Just kidding. God doesn't ask us to do this anymore. You know why? Jesus. Jesus came to be our perfect sacrifice and cover up our sins with his blood. He could do this because he was perfect. God provided himself a sacrifice for our sins. 
Our story today makes you wonder how Abraham could have trusted and obeyed God that much. Well, remember earlier when I mentioned doing a puzzle without looking at the picture on the box? This is where that ties in. Abraham didn't see the full picture of his life or the future, but God did. Abraham trusted God to guide him and let God put the pieces of his story and his life together. When we look at the bigger picture, we see God provided a land to Abraham and his large family that he would one day have. But all of that would come hundreds of years later. Abraham trusted God with his whole heart because he knew that God could see things that he couldn't. And that's exactly what our memory verse teaches us to do. It's Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6. God sees the whole picture and he wants to direct us the right way. Will you trust him to piece together the pieces of your life? He has a beautiful picture he wants to build for you. Trust him. <laughs>